Hey, what's up, y'all? Back with another authentic verification. Grabbing a couple of pair from back here behind me. And let's get into this. Hold them up. And it's a red box so you can see. Classic Nike sportswear box. And this is the Airmore Uptempo 96 London or UK Quick Strike. And um, this is the Europe City Pack. Representing, I think it's Paris, Milan, and London. And this is the London version. How this kind of features London or represents London, I'm not sure, man. I can't. You guys want to look that up and leave it in the comments if you're interested in just dropping me a note on why they are doing that. I would have to just think it's a fashion thing, Paris, Milan, London. Anytime you get fashion shows, they're always going to be in those locations. All right. This is their more up-tempo 96 UK Quick Strike. The color is Amarillo White Speed Red. The style code is AV3809700. Unlike the other up tempos, this is $170 on the SRP. So it's an extra $10 for this shoe. Do we think it's worth it? Why am I wearing a yellow shirt? I don't know. Anyway, that's not a Wu Tang shirt. Let's keep on rolling. The size 9. I got a couple of pairs, so I can do two UPCs to show you the comparison. I got a nine and a nine and a half. Make sure those are in the picture. And I'm um, going to it now for the size nine. The UPC for the size nine is 191-887-240-051, and there's a 16 at the end. Now, real quick, just to make sure you guys understand that the UPC codes, the 12 digits that go down on the side of the, the bar code right here, those 12 digits, typically with Nike, when you have a shoe like this up tempo, the first six digits are the same. So we go over here, we look at this nine and a half. And like I said, the first six digits on this one is 191-887. On the nine and a half, 191-887. First six digits are the same. Sometimes you'll get the next three digits after that, the basically the seven, eight, nine digits. Those are the same in some instances in the last number changes. So let's go to this one on the nine and we read two four zero. On the nine and a half, we got two four zero. So the numbers stay the same. But the last three numbers are where the changes typically take place. So the size nine, zero five one, the nine and a half is zero six eight. And there you see the change. So you have the nine and a half, the UPC code one nine one eight eight seven two four zero zero. Six eight. Now, if you have a size 10, the first six digits are going to be the same. This is where I talk about the UPCs being important. I know I'm three minutes in. I'm going to open the box up and get to it. I apologize. But this is important for you guys to start capturing these knockoffs that are coming up because they are like A1 98 percenters. All these guys are making these replicas that are really close, man. So it's important that you know this stuff. The UPCs typically can't be copied at a fake. Um, facility because the UPCs are the last part of the box that's basically created by Nike when they're putting the labels on that's pretty much it the company would have to get the full size run to have the UPCs correct on every size they may have one size right and that size that barcode they may be pulling from other shoes and you can check that by going to like Amazon and inputting and then seeing what shoe comes up sorry about that had to take that minute and do that now let's get to the inside of the box for you guys and see if we have a QC stamp and a QC sticker and we do have a QC stamp and it's right there but I'm going to pull these out and see if we also have a sticker in the box so one second and there's no sticker in this box so I'm going to take this and put it down and real quick I'm going to open up the size nine and see if there's a sticker in this one and this will give us an idea if we have a sticker no it's just a stamp in this one as well all right so red stamp and the stamp reads 05 22 18 11 05 22 18 11 the paper is white with the corrugated lines on it and there is the shoe inside of the box i'm going to try to get back in focus so you can see that i'm going to move it up and then back it out but that almost looks like watercolor. And I'm trying to see what material this. It is leather. Man, these are these are intriguing. 
It's an interesting looking shoe. The paint is it's like a watercolor. This thing looks like a painting. But let's get the size out of the way. Not the size, but the production dates for you guys. So we had 05, 22, 18. Production dates are 02 or 03. Sorry about that. 03, 07, 18 to 05, 09, 18. And they're made in Vietnam. The code up at the top is VY. So 05, 09, 18. 05, 22, 18, less than two weeks. So we're perfect on that. Let's get it out, get into our 360, because obviously this is going way too long. But we had two pair that we were looking at, so it's okay to be right at five. I'm going to put these together so you can get a good look at them, making sure there's nothing on the tongue that needs to be seen and there isn't just a swish on both tongues. Here we go. The colors kind of alternate on the shoes, though. Here we go. All right. There goes your toe. Toe box. And just in case, the, red, the right shoe is the one that's yellow. Now, I don't know if all of the shoes are different. I'm going to pull this nine and a half out once I get through, going through this 360. There goes your top. The Nike Air on the inside is red. There's your left. Is your right? Left medial. I actually want to keep this above just so you can see the difference in the left medial and the right medial. Put those together and give you the outsole. It's kind of like that Gucci flavor on the outsole. And give you the heel counter. And then the back of it, you have the country of England. And the star represents London. I'm pretty sure about that. And there's your oblique. Now, I'm going to keep this open real quick. And I know this is going a little bit longer than we like, but I want to see if this pair is kind of painted the same way. Now, I wouldn't expect them to do that. That would be really amazing if you think about it. But since we have both of them, we can kind of test a theory and see if they look exactly the same. And they do not. They are, it's like a sublimation that's different here. All right. So I think this top one is the size nine. This bottom one is the size nine and a half. And if you look at it, the paint isn't the same. Paint's not the same. Now the medial side, paint isn't the same. So I got a feeling these are going to have like a, it's probably the amount of leather that's cut when they do it. They're going to be different up to a point where you're going to find another nine and a half that looks very much like another nine and a half. But just something interesting to know, man, and I think you guys kind of appreciate that. But that's it. We cut it off. It's a long video, and we don't need to keep going. Appreciate you guys. Going on to the next shoe, which is the Jordan 1 Mid GS. Peace.